Well, it is a dilemma a lot of people have. What do you make for dinner if your schedule changes and you do not have time to make that healthy meal? So, registered dietitian Andrea Hall Wagner is in with us this morning to show us some options for meal planning in a crunch. And great to be, great to have you here, Andrea. First of all, especially at this time of year, That's this exactly is a crunch what I was going time to say. for people. I feel I do this about three times a week right now. That I go, oh my gosh, it's 5:30. My kids have nothing, and there's nothing in my fridge. Yes. And that's where you say it sort of starts from when it comes to planning, right? You bet. We need a backup for the backup. Right. So, <laughs> it's true. So really, at the end of the day, when we're talking backup meals, all the dietitians in our practice have at least three to five meals always in our fridge and freezers that you can make at any time. And that's what we okay. teach our clients to do because plans change. You can sure. even have the best intentions. Yeah. Um, we want to make sure that you've got those healthy options to put together really, really quickly. Okay, so you've got some ideas for us and you break it down quite easily. You want to start down here, Andrea? You bet. So I brought in one of our family favorite backup meals. Yeah. All of this can live literally the corn tortillas live in our freezer. Yes. Um, the frozen avocado, this is a new product that's available. I, was I would encourage people say, to try this. It's all diced, know. ready to go. You can toss it in. Okay. Um, of course, um, the cheese mm -hmm. is going to go with the pizza theme as well as you can put a bag of frozen grated cheese in your freezer as well. Really? Okay. Great thing to do. So you've always got it. Okay. Beans, salsa, beautiful, very, very quick little Mexican theme that you can do. Easy. You're Literally good to with go. no fresh food. Look at that. We've no. got all of our food groups covered. Absolutely. Okay. And then moving on, what do you have next for us here? This is this your is, pizza thing. This is the backup pizza thing. You can buy ready to go pizza dough. Yes. Of course, you could buy the crust. I always think the dough tastes better. Sure. Absolutely. So if I don't yep. have time to make it, I've always got some of these in my freezer. Yeah. Um, of course, some sort of a meat. Passata is one of my faves for pizza. It's, a, it's okay. like a tomato sauce. Okay. And then for veggie options, I've got canned artichokes and canned roasted red peppers as oh, my good. backups in case I don't have fresh ones available. You know, I had pizza a mom ready to go. who always buys frozen ch plain cheese pizzas and then adds the fresh stuff. A she wonderful thought, idea. I think that's Fantastic. such a great idea. That Fantastic. has saved me that idea so many more times. Love and it. so then moving on over here, these of are some quick ideas. Of course, we can always too. do breakfast for supper. Most families love yes. this theme, whether it's quickly putting together pancakes and scrambled eggs. Um, potatoes boil up really quickly. Yeah. Frozen veggies are great options to always have. My personal favorite is frozen peas because yes. they taste pretty good. Absolutely, <laughs> for sure. And the, the root vegetables will stay in your fridge for a long time, along with the exactly. potatoes. And they that's last. the reason that I brought in the cabbage, the beets. This is a rutabaga, or you could do turnip, carrots, always some root vegetables because we know they're going to hang out in your fridge and not go bad so quickly. So Absolutely. it's always good to have some of those as a backup in your fridge. Okay, what else do you have out here? We've got some frozen meat options as well as tofu. You bet. So okay. we got a little bit for the vegetarian or the meatless yeah. Monday kind of theme. We yeah. always have a pack of tofu in our fridge. It lasts a long time. It's a super quick addition to protein. Stir fry strips of meat, um, you know, buying your meat big, portioning them out in just the right size for your family. Okay. Shrimp is ready in like seconds. Put so it with true. a pesto if you like Italian or more of a curry based sauce. Um, couscous is your fastest grain that you can make. Literally, you boil water, put it in, turn the pot off, and it's ready and to go. And you're done. Do you have any other good ideas for us, Andrea? If we are out and about, we really have a bare fridge, and maybe we need to get something drive through or some kind of a convenience pickup. What are some of your ideas or your tips for getting stuff that's still healthy when you're out on the road? You bet. I, my personal favorite would still be to hit the grocery store rather than a fast food restaurant. Right. Um, some of these things can be put together really quickly. Our favorites are going to be a fresh bag of wraps, probably okay. some sort of a fresh based um, meat or beans, um, and then lots of whatever kind of fresh veggies you can toss in, whether a bag of grated carrots could go into this wrap, right. your favorite sauce. Right. Um, anything like that is going to be my preference rather than going through the takeout. That's great. Andrea, thank you so much for being here. Registered dietitian Andrea Hall Wagner always has more information on her website. You can head to healthstandnutrition.com.